And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scythria Dragons. We're going to be playing a pretty popular Scythria uh, combo deck with Shivana. We got our Spectral Matron Scythria top end, which is just such an incredibly powerful top end. Uh, we, you know, we've played this with a few different uh, style decks, and man, this will just win games for sure. And so what we're going to be doing with this version is we're going to be playing it with uh, Shivana, which is probably the most popular way to play it right now, and um, playing some dragons with it. We got Radiant Guardian Screeching Dragon in the mid game. We're going to be ramping with Mobilize, help those cost less. Um, for defensive tools, we got Withering Whale and Judgment to go along with like go along with these dragons then we also have like this other combo that a lot of people like with this which is pretty interesting mask mother plus dark water scourge this should help out a lot against aggro where if you uh, for five mana you play dark water scourge and then play mask mother kill it and then you get its keywords you get the lifesteal it does not give you the ephemeral because that's a negative keyword so you get a seven seven lifesteal pretty awesome if you have a mobilize you can do that for cheaper Besides, uh, so that's not the only thing that we have that we get to Mass Mother. Be besides that, um, especially with Mobilize making things cost less, if we have uh, Spectral Matron, it puts an ephemeral uh, copy of an ally in play, like maybe a, a Scythria, right? So it puts an, an ephemeral 10-10 Challenger Scythria in play. Then we can just play Mass Mother afterwards and just eat that Scythria, and then it's not. A, then now Mass Mother is a 12-12 Challenger that's not ephemeral anymore. And, that, and you can do that for just 8 mana if you use one Mobilize, then your Matron only costs 7, your Mass Mother only costs 1 mana. So that's a pretty cool little combo there too. Um, let's see. So that's that's kind of what our deck's all about. We're going to be playing some Egghead Researchers in here for some early defense, plus they'll create more dragons for us, which, you know, sometimes it creates some expensive dragons, but we're going to be playing Mobilize to help make those dragons cost less. But then also like a card like Spectral Matron can help those dragons. Like a lot of times, you know, you, you make Kadragran a lot, it seems like, <laughs> right? But uh, usually Kadragran's kind of hard to play. But what if you have Spectral Matron with Kadragran? That could also be really cool, um, you know, buffing up the dragons and stuff. So that could be like another card that uh, if if we're not finding Scythria or something like that. So it, Egghead Researcher should do a good job blocking for us. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Um, one thing that I was, I was uh, kind of asking about is... We are going to be playing the two Glimpse Beyonds for some extra card draw, but I was wondering if uh, a card like Single Combat would maybe be better than um, than the Glimpse Beyonds to just against the aggressive decks to help like these Shivana, Radiant Guardian, even like a Mass Mother, Dark Water Scourge, like help those things take down um, uh, other units and, and help you stabilize with like Life Steal and stuff. So that's something to, to think about. Or you know, like if we play against more control decks we're definitely going to want the draw too but so while we see these glimpse beyonds be thinking about like w which one it would be better but deck looks pr really really good decks look really powerful with matron cythria so let's get over to ranked we're gonna go play five games let's see how cythria dragons do oh you put in withering whale instead of vile feast but it's probably not as good but you like the art more Okay, so yeah, maybe maybe Withering Whale should be Vile Feast. Interesting. Fiora. Hmm. You're definitely gone. You're probably gone too. We kind of need. Huh. What are we doing against Fiora? Because this is like a problem, like this is <laughs> this is actually where we don't want to play Egghead Researcher because we don't want to give Fiora an easy kill with a 1-3. Oh, Stalking Shadow's Dragon Chow is incredible. I didn't really thought about it, but that's incredible. <laughs> well, this is looking really bad. We're just not going to survive long enough to play these 8 drops. Um, so we need mobilize.
Okay, there we go. Yeah, mobilize is cool. And I guess I just cast it now. Um, yeah. Gets a card out of my hand. I kind of maybe have to play an egghead here, because, like, we are at 14, right? Like, this this Fiora is going to kill us pretty soon. Strike quickly, strike deftly. With a little time, I'll have a look. See? Catrogrin. No, 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 no. We can't. Whale's actually going to be important against Barrier. So we can't just throw away Whale. I mean, they could just Sharp Sight kill me. The more we learn, the less we fear. This would have been a good Glimpse Beyond matchup. Pretty easy, like a repost, right? Like we attack and they repost. Yeah, I got 10 cards in hand still, but still burning cards. This just isn't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, just Dragon Chow's not good against Fiora when you don't have the dragons, right? Like we we need like a, you know like we wanted like a Shivana or a Screeching Dragon earlier, and then you know throw down all these Dragon Chows and then Screeching Dragon and make a big Screeching Dragon or something like that. But uh, yeah, this just doesn't uh, it doesn't look too good. There's a big difference between 10 and 12 because of repost, right? Like 10 is not as valuable as 12 is. Good. And obviously they wanted me to attack in last round. Nothing to hold me back. Now we gotta we gotta hope no repost. Oh, maybe no repost.
Maybe no repost. Flash for you. Fjord is a good card. <laughs> yeah. Our deck's all about just playing units and attacking, and if you just have Fiora plus every single protection spell, it's basically impossible to beat that, right? Like, you can't just only have units against Fiora. You're not going to win. So, they had the hand, and they won. I wouldn't say we're on a rough start. Aurelia Azir. So Withering Whale seems like it's going to be perfect against Aurelia Azir. Well, we're, we're, we're doing fine. I guess maybe we don't have time for Stalking Shadows. Yuck. Alright, maybe it's too many fives. <laughs> Alright, maybe Vile Feast is better than Withering Whale. They could be hold holding Notify in their hands. A Notify that won't do anything to a Withering Whale. Possibility. With a little time, I'll have a breakthrough. I'll follow where I can. Egghead's a good blocker against 1-1s. One <laughs> you know what we needed? We need another 5-mana dragon. We didn't have enough of, enough of those. Surima, your emperor has returned. Remember this day! Alright, so hoping they don't have more protection for like from a screeching dragon. Now they just used a retreat. Damage. Oh good, another five mana card in hand. How about that? We could use that. I wish I could give you silk. GG's. Sharima. The order is given. It is fine. 
Okay, probably can't play Withering Whale with everything else also costing five in the deck. <laughs> that probably can't probably can't do that. Change if you want. Okay. Yeah, it it's it can't be withering well. <laughs> Okay. All right, so we're going to we're going to go ahead and change that. We're going to put in Vile Feast instead of Withering Whale. That also help give, you know, gives the blocker. Dirty even Jinx. So this is a matchup where Withering Whale would be awesome, but um, as you can see, we did just take out the Withering Whales, put in Vile Feast. Vile Feast also very good. We're going to get rid of those, and it's kind of hard to just spend mana early on Stalking Shadows. Like, Stalking Shadows is a really good draw later on, but in this kind of matchup, it's hard to just spend mana early on that. Okay, this is looking good. First three rounds, we'll have Dragon Chow, Feast, Feast. Shivana. Definitely really thought about using this confront and giving the Shivana Challenger. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah, that's worth it. Thoughts on Mobilize versus Oblivious Islander. Um, I stand for that's why I want to do the Vile Feast, by the way, was have this thing not be quite as big. I, um, I don't love Oblivious Islander, honestly. I don't... This is your end. I don't love the um, make something elusive part of it. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. I think mobilize is just fine. Break them. It's not amazing, but it, it's fine. Yeah. I'm gonna hold on the, the mass mother. Let's see if that's gonna work. But I'm gonna hold there. I don't know why they play something else before attacking, but yeah, I wish they would. Probably just want to save the most damage possible. 
yes, I'm not killing the one ones, but they're just going to be one ones, but we save two extra life. So they they're only going to have this card and and the next card like we we're going to have lethal like very lethal here cuz we're going to have all these fearsome attackers so like I don't I don't think they can stay alive like I think they're dead and That's why I save mass mother So we have this spectral matron's lethal and then these two together are also lethal so I have to like have a fearsome blocker here and then also have at least something else there I guess challenge the elusive. We gotta challenge something. Do they have vision? Which I guess I guess I should challenge the two one, shouldn't I? Because of vision. Yeah, I guess I should I should challenge the two one. Alright, well that was my bad. Hopefully we don't mess it up from here. Still, I hopefully we don't lose from here. But yeah, that's my bad. I should have challenged the... Because that's their only way they stay alive. That was that was just a... I just... I was too confident that I was winning. And just did... I realized it right after I made the challenge. Then clicked attack. Then I was like, wait a minute. They could play vision. And that means they could have two blockers. So yeah. We shall see, though. <laughs> see, if, if Glimpse Beyond was single combat, we'd have single combat Darkwater Scourge. Single combat underrated. Like how they have different trumpet sounds for the mobilize. That is pretty cool. That there's different trumpet sounds for the mobilize. Do do do. Single combat ever been underrated? Yeah, maybe I don't know. I guess not not playing it in a deck makes it underrated. I don't know, but yeah, that's true. <laughs> Man, look at how sprawled out that doggo is. Just put my knee down too. Y'all can see her. <laughs> that is one sprawled out doggo. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. I like it. Opponent playing both of. Yeah, and they got these new ribbon sleeves, everything. Ooh, I like it. I like opponent stack. Both of the new arts. So we have our combo. Do we just keep these two in hand? And just hope that we draw... Because then, then we just assume that we just draw the other stuff? I kind of feel like we do. Guess we'll... We'll see if it works out. Nope. <laughs> We're just going to draw more Spectral Matrons. Yeah, we're losing the cosmetic game. By far. It's not even... It's not even close. Our cosmetic game weak. Oh, 
Um, this is Zed and Riven. Do not fear the shrouded path. Play the ephemeral one to block Zed. I serve my but I don't know, maybe that's a mistake. The Vile Feast have definitely looked really good for us, a lot better than Withering Will. Next round, I will be able to go double feast. Um, it looks like they probably open attacking, unfortunately. So that means... Ugh, this is messy. I think that just means that Zed's gonna level up. Their hand was one drop saboteur, two two drop house spider, three drop Zed, you know, with the attack token round three. Turn four, the double two drop. The three one and the five one, you know, challenger. And then round five, Flurry of Fist, Pump Spell. That's the perfect hand. GG's. Great level up animation. They deserve it, having all those cosmetics. They deserve it. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. The more I've played this deck, the more I've really thought Glimpse Beyond needs like this needs to be single combat. I would I would recommend changing that. Single combat just looks so much better. Than Glimpse Beyond. Because that's how we lose is we get ran over by early decks. That's how we lose. Glimpse Beyond doesn't help that. Single combat does help that a lot. Alright, so probably just playing Mobilize Shivana next round. Yeah. The dragon's rage claws to get out. Renekton, I found something special for you. If it bleeds, it's special enough. Like, imagine that Glimpse Beyond was single combat, and so I could have kept the, you know, I would have kept it, of course. Like, right here, like, they don't attack with these. 
Oh, I guess they did attack with him. But I was gonna say, like, I would single combat, you know, the Scourge killed the Renekton. Healer Nexus 5. But I'd still be able to block and do that. Um, but we'll just go ahead and go elusive here. Plus two, plus two. Are we going to find a dragon? Because take, taking the dragon chow, if we find a dragon, could be pretty nice. If we find a dragon, <laughs> that dragon's going to be awesome. Hopefully a Shivana. Just basically level up Shivana by itself. Which of these are both Overwhelm. Oh, Vile Feast does a whole lot. Saving spell mana for Judgment is pretty nice. Basically makes a bigger Radiant Guardian. No, no, not an insensitive question at all, but the question was, is your cat still around? No, unfortunately Hawkeye passed away last year. Um, so he is, he is not, but... Arda's gonna make a meal of him! Do y'all think they're playing like the Frostbite card? I hope not. What's up, Cythria? How you doing? Yeah, like Sejuani can Frostbite. But I don't know if they'll have like... Um, three sisters. Yeah, like they they should have three sisters in their deck, but hopefully they haven't drawn it. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. So I'm guessing Mask Mother doesn't save this one. Right, like like this isn't. Like this isn't gonna be like a, you know, a six seven for this mass mother, will it? Yeah, just become a two nine. So that doesn't. The mask they wear tell their tale. Doesn't help a lot. Yeah, no stream tomorrow. I'll just have a, uh, you know, errands got to run. Yeah, haven't taken a day off in a while and got to do run errands and clean house, all that kind of stuff. So, gonna take tomorrow off to do that. Like I'm getting a haircut. Puppy's going into the vet again to just uh, for checking in on her wounds, which are which are good. She's she's doing just fine, but she had the appointment for for two weeks out. So that's tomorrow. Just stuff like that. But then we're, we uh, determined we're doing the Jinx Spotlight on Thursday with the Merciless Elites video. It's a living.
Moment of truth. Hopefully they have nothing. And this works. I don't really know how they would have nothing, but hopefully they have nothing. That timer's going down. Oh. So we need a top deck Spectral Matron. No, more Valfies. So I don't know, there's just something off about this deck. The top end part, of course, is awesome. But it's just like the, the middle part of this deck. There's just a lot off. Like, I love Spectral Matron Cythria, like, and that combo's really good. But I just kind of feel like we're playing a lot of poor cards to try to make it work. That maybe we shouldn't be playing so many poor cards. Right, like, basically, like, Mass Mother, Dark Water Scourge is just not very good. I feel like the best version of this deck just plays, like, just good stuff throughout the curve. Like, the good Demacia cards and tricks and stuff like that. I like the Egghead Researcher. I do like that quite a bit. We didn't really draw Egghead Researcher very much, but I do like that quite a bit. No, we don't. We don't. <laughs> we, that's kind of the thing. Like, we need. So, like, if we just don't play the Shadow Isles cards, basically. I get rid of all of those cards. May probably get rid of Mobilize. Yeah, just get rid of Mobilize. Get rid of Judgment. Like, these, th these 26 cards are good. I just didn't, I didn't like the other 14. They didn't really look like they performed very well. So instead, we could have, like, single combat. This is just what I'm saying that I would recommend doing with this deck. Play Laurent Protégé. That card's amazing. Play, like, Leaf Feather Tracker. Bright Steel Protector. some good cards. Oh yeah, we could definitely have another champion in here. And this is nine spells. Callista, yeah, Callista's probably the champion that I'm looking at. The most... I don't want to mind, like, repost. But even just something like this. A couple concerted strikes for, for some big stuff. Like, this will help you control the board against the small things a lot better. Like, Protégé, Fleet Feather Tracker, Bright Steel Protector. These control, like, the early game really, really well. Um, that's that's just kind of what they do. And then, um, you know, Concerted Strike for big stuff. And then, you know, of course, you, you lead into your Shyvana Radiant Guardian Screeching Dragon. It'll be easier to turn on Radiant Guardian. Um, also, with, like, these different units and also with Challengers, also make it easy to turn on Radiant Guardian. Um, and then you have, like, you know, Single Combat that goes great with Shyvana Radiant Guardian and Screeching Dragon. That, um, you know, helps you stabilize. Kind of wouldn't necessarily mind it being... To let's see, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Never mind. Um, and then yeah, as far as like, people say you need need draw in this deck. Um, I just don't think you need like that much. Like all all we did for take we just took out glimpse beyond. That's not that's not that bad. But you know like the dragon child should draw. Um, if, if we can actually, like, have Dragon Chows and Dragons, like, that, that was something that we did kind of struggle with, though. But then, of course, you know, you have your Stalking Shadows and stuff, but you just, you need to be able to control the board and, like, play a, you know, a regular game 
we just had like a whole bunch of nonsense that just don't, you know, like, yeah, we just had too much nonsense. <laughs> and, and uh, like Mask Mother is not a very good card. And like trying trying to make like Mask Mother Dark Water Scourge work, it's just it's just so difficult to make it work. And then like even if you do, then it's like pretty easy just to like frostbite it. And it's just it's just you're trying to jump through so many hoops whenever you can just play like really really good quality cards um, that are like good all the time and just good on their own with like Protege Fleet Feather Tracker, right? Like that, like they're just good. Like these challengers are, are very solid. And then like Bright Steel Protector works great with the challengers. Also worked gr great with like Shivana. And Screeching Dragon and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is this is honestly what I'd recommend for this deck is just, you know, basically we're just playing Shadow Isles for Stalking Shadows and Spectral Matron, which are awesome cards. But then just just be able to play like a regular game. But then you have this ridiculously powerful late game finisher with Matron Cythria. So um, yeah, so two two Screeching or. Yeah, two Screeching, three Radiant. I was definitely thinking about that too, but then the kind of the problem, you kind of have to play three Screeching Dragon because of Dragon Chow. So you kind of have to because of Dragon Chow, you have to play the three Screeching Dragons. Um, I wouldn't mind going down on Radiant or maybe even just not playing Radiant Guardian at all because like we saw the, there were those games, like our, our fives are so heavy. I, I wouldn't mind just not even playing Radiant Guardian and just playing other ones and twos and, and threes. And like maybe like that's where you get a couple more spells or combat tricks in. You know, like maybe instead of Radiant Guardian, you play like Repost. Um, or there's other ways to that you want to have like Life Steal or anything like that. Um, I wouldn't necessarily mind getting rid of that. Radiant Guardian. It's an option. But I would start here and. Uh, play some more games and to see if like the ha the hand gets like two filled with fives and stuff like that. All right, so that's what I'd recommend. Anyway, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, let me know what you think of this updated list. If you try this deck out yourself, um, yeah, I'd really like the feedback. You know, try this this version out yourself. Let me know how it goes. Um, if you do want to play Mobilize, like that's where you know like the Radiant Gardens could go away. You can play Mobilize. Uh, that you know that that could go in for that slot. Um, another good card, uh, instead of Radiant Guardian to just kind of lower the curve some, like Doom Beast, that's, that's a really good option. You know, like I could see going like, to, you know, take out the Radiant Guardians and trim like one Egghead Researcher or a Bright Steel Protector, like trim one of those, um, get like three Doom Beasts in here or even just playing two Doom Beasts. Like it gets you like that little bit of Nexus healing, but it's, it's, something it's not like just another five mana card that like really makes your your draws pretty weird and obviously stalking shadows doom beast is, is always a great combination um so like that's that's another one like if 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 you're playing like those games that we play like raiding guardian plus screeching dragon was just was really rough right like we had like some games like where we just had all fives and it was they were pretty rough together so like that's another option doom beast but yeah so there we go. All right, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. Like I said, let me know what you think of uh, this updated version. I'd really, I'd, uh, yeah, I'd really love to hear that feedback. But that's going to be it here for Sithria Dragons. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.